Kenley Jansen the closer comes on. He's had some struggles this year. And he'll face Didi, Torres, and Gardner. The Yankees are trailing two to one. A 3 1 from Jansen to Gregorius. Lays a bunt down, foul, and it's three and two. Great idea right there from Didi. And oh, he just missed it. Three balls and two strikes to Gregorius. Jansen's sixth pitch. And he bunts again, and he bunts with two strikes and strikes out. That makes no sense. Uh, honestly, it was a good idea. I absolutely agree with what Didi did. He just played it too close to the line. Carved off too much in a very risky count. So an infield single by Gardner. First and second and one man out. And here is Urshela. Urshela who is 0 for 3. Soft ground ball. They go to second and that's all they get. As Gardner takes out Muncy. And here comes Torres and he scores. Was time called? And from a secondary standpoint, the Dodgers may ask for an appeal on this to see if the runner. You cannot go into the uh, infielder like that. They're saying Aaron Boone is challenging whether Brett Gardner was safe or out. Mm, okay. The ball arriving into Muncy's glove. It's bang, bang with Gardner's foot going to the bag. He's safe. Off the bag. How do you like that? He's safe. And the bases are loaded with one man out. Kelly Jansen climbs the hill again with a sellout crowd watching him and Mike Talkman coming out. Oh and two to Talkman. Jansen delivers. Talkman strikes out swinging. Second out of the ninth. This is well done. In in cut cut away with some tail. Wow that was an awesome pitch. Torres at third, Gardner at second, Urshel at first, two men out, ninth inning, 2 1 Dodgers, Jansen against Sanchez. Edge of your seat, peeking through your fingers, hands in front of your face. Jansen staring in. It'll be a 1 2 pitch. Swung on and missed strike three. The Dodgers hang on, beat the Yankees 2 to 1. The magic number is now an even dozen. A lot to unpack. But at the end of the day, Kenley Jansen made some big pitches on both Talkman and Sanchez to get the save. That milestone staring him in the face. One shy of the Mets single season home run record. So a base hit now could tie the game. And Alonzo crashes one out to set. Back goes Acuna looking up. And it's out here. Number 41 for Pete Alonso. He's tied the Mets club record and he's given the Mets the lead. Well, 1 0 fastball right down the pipe, and you just don't do that to Big Pete. Todd Huntley, Carlos Beltran, and now Pete Alonso sharing the Mets single season home run record. A three run shot to give the Mets a 5 4 lead in a game they once trailed 4 0. Now, first base is open. Left handed batter Michael Conforto on deck. He represents the go ahead run here, but it looks like they're going to keep pitching to him. 1 0 the count. Here's the pitch. Fastball hit high in the air, deep to center. This could be it. Acuna back. There it goes. Number 41, Pete Alonso, has not only given the Mets a 5 to 4 lead, he has just tied the New York Mets. Single season franchise record for home runs in a season. Spread out, Todd Huntley. Shove over, Carlos Beltran. You've got company. Pete Alonso acknowledges the crowd by pointing at him, pointing skyward. He is being congratulated by his teammates who were on the field. They're waiting for him in the dugout as Pete Alonso, in his rookie season, has tied the Mets' all time record for home runs in a season. Number 41 has given the Mets a 5 to 4 lead as Alonzo doffs his cap to the fans on the WCBS Mets Radio Network.
Here is Aaron Judge with two outs and no one on. Pitch swung on and hit in the air to right center field and deep. It is high. It is far. It is gone. A judgy and blast. His third home run of the series. He is getting hot. Aaron Judge. All rise. Here comes the judge. And that was a big hanging curveball. That should have been hit, and it was. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he went with it. And that was home run, career homer number 99. One more to 100. 1-1. One, one. Fly ball, right center field, and that one is on its way. Aaron Judge with a home run in each of the three games of the series. This one well into the pavilion in right center field. He generally hits his home runs the other way. That's his 16th of the season, and the Yankees take a 2-1 to one lead. Aaron Judge has homered in every game of the series, and it's 2-1 to one New York. He knew it. Kershaw knew it. And about the 55,000 people here knew it. Phillies trail at 4-2 as we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. So now Bryce lined out his last time up. A high fly ball to deep right center field. Cabrera going back. It is off the top of the fence. Now they're saying it's a home run. Well, Melky's out there coming in now waving his hand like that's not out. It's a crew chief review. Yeah. Right now it's a solo home run to make it four to three. Just a matter of uh, how they deem it uh, as to what might have happened if that fan doesn't. I mean I think it's just going to hit the fan quite frankly. It's going to be a home run. Yeah. That's tough to overturn. It's a one run game. Home run number 28 for Bryce Harper. And so now Corey Dickerson will come to the plate and he represents the go ahead run. There you go. Is pulled deep to right field. No doubt about it. The Phillies have taken the lead here in the bottom of the eighth inning. It's a five four game. And that ball against his former club has hit a two run home run and he has turned the game around the Phillies lead 5 4 bottom of the eighth. He is fired up against his former team Corey Dickerson gives the Phillies the lead. Josh Bell will come up he pinch hit in the seventh was walked intentionally. It's uh -oh. a hard to center going back and Josh Bell rings the bell to tie it up after all. Josh Bell homers and it's tied up here in the ninth. He ties the game with a soaring home run to center. His 33rd and we're knotted at five. Nothing you can do about it now. You made a mistake. A hanging split. Josh Bell did not miss that bad boy. He's tied the game here in the top of the ninth inning. How about that? Wow. Going to the bottom of the 11th inning and the Phillies still looking for a way to get back on top and win this one in walk off fashion. They left three aboard in the ninth. They left two more on in the 10th. Sean Rodriguez leads off. And he rips it deep down the left field line. It is gone! Sean Rodriguez with a bullet! And the Phillies win it here in the bottom of the 11th inning. Six to five. It was a with a bullet out to left right down the line. It's his fourth career walk-off home run. And the Phillies hit a couple of big homers from former Buckos tonight. <laughs> there was a thought that maybe his career would be over. Got another chance with the Phillies, and tonight he downs his old club with a home run off Feliz in the 11th inning. Of all people, Sean Rodriguez walks it off. Amazing. Here's Mike Ford. Ford hammers that. High and deep to right field and gone. Mike Ford is heating up. His seventh long ball of the year, and the Yankees have put up a four spot here in the second. She is gone. How do you like that Mike Ford off a lefty? Mike Ford. 
Oh, there's a Ford in the Yankees future. He has a two run home run to deep right right near the foul pole. Mike is Ford tough and the Yankees take a four nothing lead. And here is Mike Ford and he crushed a two run home run to right his first time. Ford has another that is tanked deep and long gone into the night. Mike Ford will drive his way around the bases. It's 5 3 Yankees. Swung on. There it goes to deep right. It is high. It is far. It is gone. He has done it again. Mike Ford drills his second home run of the game to deep right field. Can you imagine what is happening with Mike Ford? Wow. He now has eight home runs, and he has not been up a hundred times. Two two Trout. He's got the lead at 43. It's also his 11th home run of the year against the Rangers. A new franchise record. Tried to go upstairs with a fastball and didn't get it high enough. See where this pitch is in the zone and Trout absolutely demolishes it. That was crushed. That was over the bullpens. It was also his 100th RBI of the year. Ontario ready and here's the 2 2 on Mike Trout and he hammers one at deep left field. It is Trout of here. He cleared both bullpens right there smacked it out no doubter number 43 of the season RBI number 100 and the Angels lead gets a little bit bigger. It's now five to two. He regains the undisputed major league home run lead and the Angels regain a three run lead it's five to two so sometimes it just seems like he measures guys doesn't it yep and that's 11 home runs against the Rangers which is unprecedented 11 home runs this year and here is Aaron Judge he hits, he hits the ball as hard as anybody in the league Judge pummels that deep to center field and then is number 100 for number 99. Aaron Judge becomes the third fastest player in baseball history to reach the century mark. And it's 2 nothing Yankees. You see Stevie Donahue, they're going to mark up Aaron Judge's historic home run. Judge hits one to deep center. It is high. It is far. It is gone. It hit the backdrop. The batter's protection backdrop over the dead center field wall. A Judgean blast. A two run home run. All rise. Here comes the Judge. And that was Aaron Judge's 100th home run of his career. And yeah, boy, was it ever a home run. Pete Alonzo leads off the bottom of the fourth against you Darvish no score Alonzo sitting on 41 home runs tying the Mets single season record Darvish serves up a bunch first pitch Alonzo it's a high fly right center this could be the record Castellanos back it's long gone it's over here Pete Alonzo has the Mets club record his 42nd home run 58 years of Mets baseball and no one has ever hit more home runs in a season as a New York Met than the rookie, Pete Alonzo. Number 42, and Pete Alonzo has set the New York Mets single season franchise home run record. The Mets have a one nothing lead, and Big Pete continues to rewrite history. He's gonna have to take a curtain call here. <laughs> there it is. There's the curtain call, Alonzo out of the dugout. Waving both of his hands in the air, pointing at the crowd. Here's your matchup. Big home run hitter <laughs> against the guy who has yielded a league high 30 home runs. Part of the Met order, Alonso, Conforto, and Ramos. Ooh. Alonso on the first pitch. Drives one to deep right. And this ball is out of here. 
He now stands alone. Most home runs in a single season by any Met. And he's got a month left to add to it. And the home run ball bites Darvish again. And I think that's what makes Alonzo so dangerous, Kitty. Is his ability to hit the ball out of the ballpark the other way easily. I mean, this is a fastball above his waist outside. And he hits it way in the bullpen, almost above the Dunkin' Donuts side. I mean, that ball left with ease. They were waiting for Alonzo to take a curtain call, and he did. And he deserved it. Playing him to the pole side, and did he get another one? Are you kidding me? Number 14 for Aristide Sakino. You're watching Major League history, folks. Sit back and enjoy the ride, because what a ride Aquino is on right now, unlike any player that has ever put on a big league uniform. And Aquino socks one deep left field. It's way back, and it is gone. He's done it again. A two-run home run for Aristide Aquino. 2 nothing Reds. It's number 14. <laughs> I don't know that you have enough exclamation points to put after that swing at the bat. Wow. At some point you start to run out of words. Uh, it, what he is doing is so far beyond unprecedented. Lorenz is a pinch hitter. Oh, gets a good swing off here. Deep out to center field. The shields his back and he goes! Delano timed it perfectly and made a beautiful leap to take that apple out of the sky. Boy, he, he, you said he timed it perfectly. He did. It almost looked like he knew exactly what was going to happen when that ball was hit because he calmly went back to the wall. He waited. He timed his jump perfectly and went up over the wall and took it back. Knows exactly where he is. That was nice. Ronald <laughs> thinks he's behind one and nothing after that one, but fortunately it didn't happen. Also, that is about as much expression as you will ever get out of Gerardo right yeah. there. I'm going to say, come on, man, at least show a smile. <laughs> Tip awesome. your hat, but at least smile. Here comes Gerardo with the one two. And that's the hit high and deep out into center field. Delino has to go back on this, still back, back to the track at the wall. He leaps, and Delino, did he catch it? He's got a smile on his face. He's got the ball in his glove. What a play by Delino to Shields. He went over the wall, reached far over the wall, and brought that one back in. He points to Brian Goodwin. Goodwin smiles back at him. What a play by Delino to Shields. That is probably his best catch as a Ranger. Fantastic.